We are back with In Depth today this morning. New developments in the case of death row inmate Rodney Reed. Yeah, his execution has now been put on hold indefinitely. Kim Kardashian West is among the many people who brought attention to Reed's case. And Jenna sat down with Kim in Houston over the weekend and talked about it. Hey, Jenna, good morning. Hi, good morning. Rodney was scheduled to be executed on Wednesday, but on Friday, his legal team scored a major victory. And Kim Kardashian West was with Reed when he found out. When we got the news, it was just this, like, overwhelming sigh of relief and hope. What did he say? What did his face, like, look like? It was what did emotional. He say? It was extremely emotional. And he said, praise Jesus. And he said it so just, I could just feel his soul when he said that. Rodney Reed was scheduled to be executed this Wednesday for the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Stacy Stites. He has long claimed he and Stites at the time were having an affair, but he says he did not have anything to do with her death. Free Rodney Reed. On Friday, after massive public attention was paid to the case, the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles recommended a 120-day stay of execution. The same day, Texas Court of Criminal Appeals agreed to halt the execution indefinitely, citing claims of new evidence in the case. Kim Kardashian West first learned of Reed's case on Twitter, and last month she sent this tweet to Texas Governor Greg Abbott, urging him to, in her words, do the right thing. Tweeting something like this, you must take it very seriously. You can't just tweet something like that unless you're certain the case should be looked at. Yeah, so I will usually go to length of speaking with either the person or their family members mm -hmm. and my group of attorneys before I do something like that. Mm -hmm. I really am strategic when I am tweeting about someone's life. Yeah. You know, sometimes I think attention could help. I never want to do anything if I feel like it can hinder a case. Because sometimes attention <clears throat> may not help. Is that right? I mean, I think that sometimes I feel like maybe a governor wouldn't want the pressure mm -hmm. from maybe talking to a celebrity mm -hmm. about a situation. I know that having support is really important. And the most amazing thing I saw that came from this case was the bipartisan support. I mean, you had everyone from Ted Cruz to Sean King mm -hmm. on this case and really setting up petitions where millions of people signed them. They say that it takes a village, but it really takes a country, and it showed in this case. The victim's own mother and sisters have said they think Rodney was the murderer. What do you say to them? I'm completely sympathetic when I think about a victim's family. I always think, well, what would I do? And I would want to know through evidence, through DNA evidence, that all of the facts were completely accurate. You have four kids. I've noticed that your passion for this work really came after you became a mom. Do you think the two have something in common? Did they change your perception on life, on how important it is that we care about others? I absolutely think they did. I mean, when you become a mom, you become so protective. You want to hopefully make their world the most perfect place ever, and ours obviously isn't. And I definitely see how especially like black men are treated in this country still differently. And I'm raising two black men, and so I want to make sure that my world and their world is as safe and as fair as possible. Was there a moment, was there a catalyst when you knew you wanted to get into criminal justice reform? Yeah, Alice. Alice is Alice Marie Johnson, who was serving a life sentence for a nonviolent first-time drug offense. Hoda spoke with them both shortly after Johnson's release. I love this woman. I love this lady. Kim was a fierce Johnson supporter and went all the way to the White House to fight for her freedom. I always say, like, Alice found me, and we were supposed to be on this journey together. It's just been such a journey that I didn't ever imagine I would be on, but I'm so glad that I am. And I just love that we've been able to just get a lot of work done. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to stop that. Jenna, she's obviously found her passion. Mm -hmm. She's studying to be a lawyer. Um, what, what is her plan? What's her ultimate plan with this? Well, she has no intention of stopping, as you mm -hmm. can see. She's extremely passionate. She's actually working with Rodney Reed's legal team.
<laughs> as part of her apprenticeship. I met her two lawyers that helped train her mm -hmm. in the bar, and they said that they wouldn't believe that she actually didn't cheat on some of these tests wow. if they weren't watching it because she's so talented. Wow. Wow. Her hope is to actually open up a law firm to work with people like Alice, mm -hmm. those that were formerly incarcerated, because she said she's never... She wants to employ them. Yes, because yeah. yeah. she's wow. never seen people that are more um, thorough in the law than those that have been right. incarcerated themselves. I would imagine she probably hears from, from lots of folks who are, who are incarcerated. Yeah, yeah. she does. Yeah. She says it's overwhelming, and that's why she has to be very thorough in the cases uh -huh. she chooses to work uh -huh. with. All right, Jenna, thank you. Thank you. you.